Wow. Look at the size of these. You won't believe me, but there are actually fairies sitting on these a minute ago. That's why I stopped and came over. They're amazing and they're absolutely everywhere. And not just like this. There's so many different types I've seen so far. Right now I'm in Finland, about 350 kilometers inside the Arctic Circle. The sun's blazing and when the wind's not blowing, it's quite warm. I was expecting a wilderness, rocks and maybe some snow, but it's turned out to be a very, very lush place with so much growing. The mushrooms are just one thing, but there's all kinds of things growing under this Finnish sun. So stay with me and I hope that I can take you on an Arctic organic adventure. As I said before, the Sami people's lifestyle has had to change. It's had to keep up with modern times. And in order for me and for you to see just how much it's had to change and how much of their traditional lifestyle they've kept, I've been invited to a modern Sami house to get a first-hand experience of what it's like to live the Sami life. Whoa. They call them flippers, flippers. So this is a perch. You can see why it gets stuck in the net with all these little bones, create spikes. Do you eat this? Yes, sometimes. But not this time. I've travelled 600 kilometres southeast of Inari to bring you to the Kainu region of Finland, the berry basket of this whole country, and hopefully I'm going to eat some brilliant nutritional bundles of berries. Cool hair, buddy. Where'd you get it cut? Or where don't you get it cut? Well, it's a cold day for it. I mean, I'd, I'd really... I'd really rather be out of this rain, but you guys seem to be fascinated by something over there. What is it? I'm told this building behind me is like a church. It's not a Sami house or a Sami storage place for meat, but it's a sauna, one of the oldest types of sauna in Finland. 